We play football in the forest at Keenan Stadium in Chris Smith Field, and it's the 110th meeting all time between the Duke Blue Devils and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Both have two losses in league play to go with three wins. Carolina is seven and two. Duke is six and three. The way the ACC shapes up, the winner tonight still has hope for Charlotte. And here comes Mac Brown's Tar Heels. May up in the pocket, going to throw, and it is caught. Is that Nesbitt? It is. The tight end, Bryson Nesbitt. And because Carolina sub, Duke has time to make the change. Snap to May. He's going to take a shot. Walker is his target and makes the catch. Taz Walker with Blades defending, and May dropped it in the bucket. Taz Walker has been an unbelievable player, and it, the size and speed combination and ability to trap. Hampton is with May. And May will keep it, and Carolina gets the early lead on the opening drive. Throw accurately down the field, and then the athleticism down in the red zone has the Tar Heels up top early to dominate inside. Second straight carry for Amari and Hampton, a step away, first down into Duke territory. And finally brought down by Stinson, who's a pretty good safety. I think Trey Freeman needs to go out and match. Here is Hampton at the 10. And it'll be first and goal, Carolina. Lewis may have saved the touchdown. For the field goal. 23-yard try is good. Because of a delay, that's not what Duke needs offensively with how they're operating. Here's Waters banging across the 30. Look at Jordan Waters, and he'll get the first down. Big is, part of it. Is a really big part of it. Yep. Here's the give. Hampton breaking free. Duke secondary, and it's Freeman, the linebacker, who finally gets him on the ground. Pretty good patience, too. And Duke's having all kinds of issues substituting. Here's May to his left, trying to lead Jones. What a catch! J.J. Jones. And, you know, I guess lost in the madness is that J.J. Jones, somebody that they really want to kind of step. Tyler Santucci does a great job. Jess Simpson, the D-line coach, is terrific. For Mike Elko, and the point by Burnett. Terry Moore waits on Liam Boyd's kick. And here's Moore two yards deep now. At the 15, comes to a stop, bends it middle of the field, and out near the 30 goes Terry Moore. Third down now for Loftus and the Blue Devils. Shoots it near side. Go to Calhoun if you need the big catch. Right, Tim? First down. Here's Loftus to throw. Going to take a shot. Caught. First down. Making the move is Jordan Moore inside the 25 and the Blue Devils to the Tar Heel 22. First and goal at the Tar Heel 10. Loftus to the end zone. Caught Jordan Moore and a Duke touchdown. Well, how about that drive by Grayson Loftus? They're nine plays, 70 yards, and 621. And Grayson Loftus fires a touchdown pass to Jordan Moore. The two red zone field goal kicks. And here's May to work. Looking to throw down the field and intercepted on the backside, Jalen Stinson. Stinson inside the 20 to the North Carolina 13. Maybe a little bit of pressure at him, but that can be the decision when you're backed up. Loftus will keep, and Duke has tied the game at 13. A great time to come up with his first interception, and then Loftus continuing to run it as Duke plays this three-man front. Not a bad idea. May loads and throws for Walker, who makes a catch. Did he hold on? He did. 
Holy smokes. Bucket to Tez Walker. Well, and Tez, this is just straight speed. Just takes off and runs and runs right by Pickett. Pickett never turns back to locate the foot. Try for Noah Burnett. He's hit from 31 and 23 in this first half. And now Carolina's going back in front with 23 seconds left. They waiting patiently here. And now he's going to keep it. And Drake May lateraled it to Amari and Hampton, who gets the first down. Out of a no man's land. ESPN Analytics says no go, but here's Carolina. May going to make the long throw. Walker the sliding catch. And it's going to be spotted at the 30, and that's enough for the first down. Carolina going for it here. Here's May looking left. Pumps in trouble. Steps, throws, caught. J.J. Jones. First and goal, Carolina on a Houdini move by Drake May. 27-yard try for Burnett now to push the lead to five. And the kick from Noah Burnett is good. It's his fourth field goal of the night. Carolina gets a benefit of one there. And here's May keeping it to his left. Got a block from Copenhaver inside the 10 and hurdles to the five. I've been saying, Drake, protect yourself. And I think Drake just said, this is the Duke Carolina game. And here's Carolina's sixth possession on third and goal. And they're going to pitch it to Hampton. Is he going to score? He does. Amari and Hampton behind the blocking of Bryson Nesbitt in the end zone for the Tar Heels. Carolina, with some of the struggles running it in between the tackles inside the five, they fit. That's Hagen's in orbit. Here's Loftus now down the seam. That's Calhoun on the cross. Knocked out of bounds inside the 15 at the 13 by Chapman is Jalen Calhoun in this 110th meeting. Waters here to the near side. A stiff arm at the five and a touchdown for Duke. Jordan Waters into the end zone for the 11th time this year. By Loftus and then it's Jordan Waters with the stiff arm and then the speed. The Tar Heels, or excuse me, Duke battling back. And an onside kick by Duke and the Blue Devils have it. Oh my goodness. Mike Elko talked about stealing possessions and they just do a good job of finding a little dead spot there. Calhoun in the orbit. Loftus to Coleman. Tries to bend it right. First down and more. Inside the 40 and finally taken down at the 36 by Don Chapman. And look at this motion here. They kind of run this boomerang motion. It kind of gets Huzzy out of sorts. And then Carolina responds to kind of cover for Huzzy. And it, it, the quarterback read if the defense collapses in on him. It is Waters, and it is a first down. Jordan Waters on first and 10. And it is Waters circling here to the near side, and he gives Duke the lead. Kraken inside defender, it's Biggers there. The replace has to come from the corner, it's Chapman. And he He'll throw, caught Calhoun, two points for Duke, it's a three-point game. They lose a couple yards. Snap to May, gonna take a deep shot for Walker, Tez there, it's caught. In Duke territory goes Tez Walker again. With Al Blades defender. He's got press man coverage. It's Bale. Montez just uses his speed to run by Al Blades. Never went out of bounds, did he? I mean, on I the route early got... on. Third and forever, but you are in field goal range. Yep. May gonna throw. Pump from the pocket, shoots it for the end zone, and it is caught. Is it intercepted or is it caught by Nesbitt? Try to run a play. What a catch by Bryson Nesbitt. Made a throw. Shot to the end zone for Nesbitt again. He caught it. Their flag's down. It's a touchdown for Bryson Nesbitt. Watching him warm up. Wasn't sure if he's going to be able to go or how effective he'd be. 
Well, how about this catch? What a grab, and how about the one earlier on third and long? It's an amazing throw, amazing catch, an amazing response by Drake Met. You know, up and press man, you know, he went on a single go route, could turn the outcome of this game. Loftus, Moore, first down Duke at the 36. Straight ahead, Waters. First down and Moore. Hurdles a man at the 35. Coleman in the backfield. Snap, pressure coming. Loftus throws, looking in zone. It's caught. Jordan Moore. That's why you don't do it. It's why you don't do it. All, all out blitz. Duke has taken the lead with 41 seconds left to go in the ball game. This is what I mean. These are the safety players. They're coming in. So just take a look at this. Man, 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 man. Nobody else. All the quarterback has to do is identify the matchup he wants. It's a little stutter, go to the top, and it's catch and throw. That's what I mean about not having to read a defense. It takes the decision out of it for you. Which forces the inaccurate throw. Duke only rushes three. Here's May to his right. He'll throw, it is caught, short of the first down. So you could then call the timeout if it's in the middle of the field. Here's May, quick shot, Nesbitt the catch. You gotta go down, gotta go down, he gotta go down. down. There's the timeout call, Mac Brown, three seconds left. Kick is away, and it is good. And Duke Carolina is going to overtime in Chapel Hill. At 36 at the end of regulation. What's a little free football on a Saturday night in Chapel Hill? We'll have it for you next. Because that's where we're going. In the first overtime. Kick is away. And it is good. 49 with juice. For those players. There's May the fake. He will throw to the end zone. McCollum cannot hang on. And now Carolina will kick the field goal. It's a little whip route that Carolina used to like to run with Josh Downs. And he wins. Ball's there. Just needs to be finished. To tie the game. Snap, spot. Kick is up. And we move on at 39 all. Made the clap. He'll move the pocket to the right. Drake will keep it and score. How about that? May turn the corner and then kind of had enough momentum built in his run, Tim, to fall into the end zone. Duke's got four on the line. Here's May looking right. Now going to scoop back up, throw to the end zone. That's caught. Copenhaver. Take a look at the right guard. I believe it's the right guard. Drake's going to take off to run. I mean, he's well into the end zone. He tries to hide. He kind of crouches down like he's going to hide. He knows he's down the field. It's an outstanding effort by Drake May. We've seen him do it a few times. Obviously, on the touchdown design quarterback run, it's a good job of being physical on the way into the end zone. They're going to hand to Coleman. No, throwing to the end zone and caught. That's more. The slant for Jordan Moore and the Duke touchdown. And now here's Loftus with three touchdown passes tonight in his second career start, trying to tie the game. Throws, end zone, no, and that's it. Carolina keeps the victory bell in double overtime. Elko. And another unbelievable Duke Carolina finish. <laughs> unbelievable finish is right. And 
I feel like both of these teams left everything out on the field, Wes, which is what should happen in rivalry games, and it feels like it happened tonight. Give me something. Give me something.